Well, hello guys. We're back. Playing some Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. I haven't played this game in a... Ooh, a minute. Oh. Guess I started here before. But, uh, yeah. We'll start up a new game. Keep the bonuses. Uh, whatever. Let's just say no. Uh, let's just go with normal. Nine, six. Save over that. I'm saying I played that today, which I had. It's strange, but the sequel to obviously the first Uncharted is very good. Lay worked on a lot of things, made a lot of things a lot better. Uh, the hip fires or hip fire blind fire definitely a lot better. Combat more fluid hand to hand. Platforming is still great, storytelling still superb. Um, so let's get into it. Doesn't look good. That's Looks like blood. paint. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Oh man. Ooh. Chapter one, rock in a hard place. I remember when they first showed this on, what was that, E3? And I was so hyped for this game. Oh. And just playing this opening level for the first time. It's like, wow. It's like, they're really gonna start off like this? Come on, come on, Nathan. Gotta get out of here. Ooh. This man should get a tetanus shot. Should be immune by now. All this rusty ass metal. These touches. Ow. Jump to the sofas. What you tend to notice in Naughty Dog games, if you don't know where to go, just try to find a yellow, a yellowish uh, tint to the environment. Oh my god! Going right? Yes, we are. Like this man's upper body strength is ridiculous normally. But with a gunshot wound and oh. Come on bro, we gotta get out of here. What are you doing? Oh my god. Come on, you got it. Go, go, go. Come on, boy. Oh my god. Jump. Whew. 
We're good. We're good. We're not good. At least he doesn't look like he's made out of clay like the first one. Again, very good upgrades. Sequel. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no, a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Ooh, what's up, girl? What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Claudia Chloe Black's is one of the voice. Best in the business. She'll take Love good it. care of us. I bet. Alright, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. So I mean, it's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp, something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, squad unite. He's wearing long sleeves at a beach. I don't know what's up with that. That was kind of sus. There's a lot of destruction. Is it over here? Which way? Yes. Uh, just like the first playthrough, uh, I'm not really going to go out of my way to get any treasure. If I happen to stumble upon it, then 
Or if I remember where they are, I'll just go get it. Just like that one. I guess we're not going back that way. And I really love the pacing of this game. Got plus treasure. Uh, the action, puzzle sequence, storytelling. Again, really great pace. It's not too much of one thing. Ammo. Oh, you gotta shoot that. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. How do I reload again? I think it's R2. Yeah. Oh, Let's answer my question. Is a bitch. <laughs> totally forgot that was gonna happen. <laughs> I was actually just gonna test out the blind fire. Ow. This man's persistence, though. Getting shot, he's in the cold by himself. Still alive, still alive and kicking. Oh! Ow! Like, see, if I were in that case, I'd be like, ah, too much. Hurts too much. Look at that. He's barrel rolling. Up. You dead? Nah, we not dead. Who sleeps in the bed with their shoes on? Hello. So much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. No history here. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. Hmm, that is, so what's the plan? That is nice. Just like we said, we pull the heist find the ships and we make off with the treasure with Flynn mm -hmm. and then and then we split the take three ways and you and I just disappear together this time I see until then he can't know about us he's gonna be pissed he's gonna be fine <clears throat> trust me Wakey, wakey. This man just survives everything. Where are we going? This way. Uh, I can make that, right? I hope I can make that. Up we go. Oh, 
Oh. Snap, having a good day, man. Freezing your balls off. Shot. It is blowing up. About to have a firefight. Nope, just kidding. Spoilers. <laughs> That looks valuable. And conveniently in our walk path. That's what. That blood leaves a lot to be desired, though. That really looks like it's just pain. You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. Big ass soup. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Right. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. You sure you know where you're going? Breaking and entering. Anything over here? Oh no. Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? I hate wet jeans. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Come on, left. Do them, bro. Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, <laughs> in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. <laughs> Here it comes. And conveniently, Thanks. the ladder falls down. Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go.
We're good. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. <laughs> 